Where the hell have you been? I've been nursemaiding Hartley for three hours, and if I didn't need that money... Shut up! Who you think you're talking to, Sherman Cup? Man, if you ever talk to me like that again, I'll kill you. And I don't mean that as a euphemism. I mean I'm going to literally kill you. I'm going to strangle you and cut off your ass supply until you pass away. Now find a rich dummy and see the showtime. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Will Foreman from My Mama's Basement New Review Show. So it's been a little while since I posted a video. I wanted to take a little time off and go outside because the weather finally broke here. There'll be some more Boats to America's coming, but God, the weather is just so up and down, so I really can't go outside and do what I want to do. But today, I got some real gems I found. Really one of them I want to talk about in particular. One of them is called Immortal. I don't know if you can see that, but um, you'll see it in the reviews. I can't believe I found this. I found this for $2 at the Video Game Exchange. It almost has like a metal tin can for it. Very good movie. And then also I found Ronin, brand new. Sometimes you can find these movies brand new for $2. You can't beat that. That's why I always tell you to go down to your local Video Game Exchange store and buy you a movie. Buddha, bless you. And go check these films out. So I want you to sit back and enjoy, you know, the segments. It's going to be, you know, the, the movie reviews, the Kenta Bomb battles, which is awesome. I got a good fight for you guys. And then the comic block. This time you see what I'm doing. Again, I'm building up. I won't tell you no more, but I'm always going to pick something to do for the comic block. All right, guys. Thanks for being here with, with Will, you know, who I am, Will Foreman, and my mama's face a new review show. Sit back and enjoy. Let's go, guys. All right, guys, on with the reviews. The first movie is Immortal, a 2000, 2004 English language French live action and animated science fiction film co-written and directed by Inky Babel and also starring Linda Hardy, Thomas Christman, and Charlotte Rampling. It's loosely based on a Belial comic book, Le Four Ox Immortals, or The Carnival of Immortals. I found this gym today at the Video Game Exchange, and I couldn't believe it. So I got it. Here's the trailer. Check this movie out. I know you're there. My most beautiful and most important creation. drink that girl's dangerous that's why i'm interested in her i'm taking her with me young women like her are rare there are only a few of them in the entire universe in 20 years of medicine i've never seen a guinea pig quite like you i want a detailed report of all the analyses you'll perform on her there's a blank in my memory. Why did you spend 30 years in hibernation? I was sentenced to hibernation for trying to protect people like you. No one is like me. I'm looking for one of my patients. You're damaging that girl. I'm afraid of becoming human. Could you forget me? Could you forget me if you had to? All right, the next film is Valerium, the City of a Thousand Planets. This is a 2017 English language 3D space opera film, uh, which is written and directed by Luc Bassan. If you don't know who that is, man, you've been under a rock. The guy's good. And co-produced by Bassan and his wife. The film is based on a French science fiction comic series, Valerium and Lurium, written by Pierre Christian and by Jean-Claude Miseris. Forgive me for slaughtering these guys' names, but this is a very good movie. Luke Bassan makes good movies. The only problem is they didn't introduce it earlier to America, so that's probably why it, does, it didn't get a really high rating. But I like the movie, so here's the trailer.
city of a thousand planets. After centuries of peace and prosperity, an unknown force wants to destroy all we have created. Agents Valerian and Laureline, you have less than 10 hours to find the threat and eliminate it. Let's get to work. Right, guys the last one is Ronan two characters in this movie is very notable is Robert De Niro and Jun Reno who actually been in a lot of Luc Besson films it's a 1998 American action thriller film written by John David Zeke and David Mamet and was directed by John Frankenheimer I thought it was Frankenstein but it's Frankenheimer the film centers on a team of ex-special operatives hired to steal a mysterious and heavily guarded briefcase while navigating a maze of shifting loyalties. This is a very good movie. I'm putting the trailer up. If you haven't seen it, please get it. Did you ever kill anybody? I hurt somebody's feelings once. I never walk into a place I don't know how to walk out of. Oh, I know you. I don't think so. It's a small world. Not in my experience. He was hired to lead a mission. This is what we're after. To recover a package. We need to take it intact from several men who will be intent on preventing us. Nice. My kind of job. That some are willing to die for. Are you afraid? Of course I'm afraid. You think I'm reluctant because I'm happy? Who are our employers? I'm not under any obligation to let you know. If you are not, then the price has got to go up. It's not going to happen. The girl sold us out. We're following the wrong people. Get in the car! United Artists presents... Robert De Niro. I won't hurt you. Ronin. You worried about saving your own skin? Yeah, I am. Covers my body.
right, guys. The first guy is Demolition Dumphy. His real name is Dennis Dumphy. First appearance, The Thing, 28, uh, issue 28, October 1985. As Demolition Man, he was in Captain America, uh, issue 328, April 1987. Den Dennis Dumphy was born in Lincoln, Nebraska. Dennis became an aspired athlete who received a strength augmentation treatment offered by Power Broker, which incorporated, which I need to go into those guys. Finding himself too strong now for normal sports, he became a pro wrestler, a professional wrestler, and a member of the Unlimited Class Wrestling Federation, UCWF. Here he is, guys. You want to do more information, you can go to Wikipedia and look up him. He's a pretty decent character. All right, guys, moving right along. The next character is called Butterball. First appearance, The Thing, Volume 1, uh, issue 33, March 1986. Her real name is Vivian Dolan. That's right, I said Vivian Dolan. She's an overweight wrestler who uses her massive body as a weapon. Her favorite move is to body slam her opponent, presumably while she continues to wrestle. That's crazy. She's actually a character in the UCWF. She's a badass, so I don't know if you guys want to make fun of her. I don't know why I put the overweight in there, but she's a big girl. Here she is. Check her out. All right, guys. Well, check it out. I actually picked two females. The second one, her name is Pound Cakes. Her real name is Marion Pouncey. Her first appearance was in Marvel 2-in-1, August 1979. Marion Pouncey was born in Garden City, New Jersey. She began her career as a professional wrestler known as Pound Cakes until she was imprisoned for extortion. She also got her special powers from Power Broker as well. And a pair of, I, don't, I think they're called seismatic boots, which gave her ability to create tremors and minor earthquakes by stomping the ground. She, too, is another badass. I mean, big, sexy, pro-wrestling female that'll beat you to death. This is my last character, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. This is Comic Block. This is Will. I'm out of here. They've all gone insane. That's what I call a game. Push them back! Push them back!